We're changing up the order. I think I should probably play Convoy first to give me a better chance of actually finding any artifacts at all, regardless of how many zeros I'm finding. Um, oh, good. Good start. But, um, yeah, I'm running out of um, oil. Plus the music in uh, the um, Convoy is pretty good. Um, Womb is one of the tracks that I don't like that much. But one of the things to, uh, that you, you really need to ask yourself in um, Beyond Mode is whether you want to open up the first shop immediately. Because you may find an item that gives you a lot more loot. And you may find an item that makes one of the early stages quite easy. But would it have been better to save up all of your money to get a very good item? Because you're probably only going to get one or two items from the shops at best. 33. 25 is when I normally like to play the shop in the early game. Now that's a good start. And that's... Well, that's interesting. I tend to feel like boring but practical is the way to go for um, Beyond. So the um, Feral Fiber will just give me a reasonable number of minions. And on the final stage when a 50-50 is just going to kill you. A very reliable resolver. Well, minions aren't that reliable. Because you can't direct where they go. But they can make a difference in the right situation. And all I'm trying to do is create the... I'm just trying constantly to tip the odds very slightly in my favour. Because the final stage is probably going to be a gamble, and even the earlier stages may be something of a gamble. Um... Oh, really? Man, I'm not even restarting the recording for that one. Hmm. That's just a... I think I find it a little more difficult to concentrate when I'm uh, trying to talk at the same time. Or when I'm trying to explain what I'm doing. Um... Remember that being a technique that I was um, asked to use during driving lessons when I uh, <laughs> got back in those days? And that was a while ago. That was a misclick, but a beneficial one. Uh, yeah, yeah, trying to explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And it's a different experience, certainly. very slightly different way. But yeah, I'm just trying to relieve the strain of the RNG. So if I'm slightly... If I'm creating very slight benefits, then... Yeah, just, just, just think of it as a scale, and it starts quite heavily tipped against you. And every time you gain something that would make the game a little bit easier, you know, you, you, you're just, you're inching it a little further, you're inching it a little further. Uh, that's a 50-50, no doubt about it. And uh, that is... true trash. Uh, you know, it's, th th there's a time and a place for that. Um, I don't favour it. Oh, good, I get to, uh, I get to prestige. This is good, I'm up for great. Oh, that is nothing. And I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try again. Lantern is useful. This is... okay. Oh my. Right, so what we do, we hold on to the dark ink until that countdown reaches a low number. Uh, and then we... Uh, well, we pray we get something okay. 
because I particularly despise the faulty bomb. Um, I think it's a run ender, especially if you get it quite early on. Uh, thankfully, the number of stages you actually play as part of Beyond God. Hey, kid. You're not very likely to get killed by it. It's hard to say that any omen feels truly unfair. I mean, some of them are unfair. Some of them, some of them are. But you always have to balance that against knowing that every chest you open is a gamble. And I'm always tempted to compare this to the Binding of Isaac, but you can't. I mean, it's the only other roguelite I'm, f I'm familiar with. And this, this itself isn't a roguelite. Or is it? I, I don't know. That's 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 a difficult one. I suppose the fact that you uh, it has roguelite elements, certainly. And yeah, you, you're opening chests, you're finding random loot, no two run, runs are the same. I suppose, yeah, by definition it probably is a roguelite. But uh, yeah, it's not fair to compare it to The Binding of Isaac, which is the one I'm familiar with. Um, simply because they, they have different mechanics, they play in different ways. And... Hmm, only one of these must be. Isaac, you can always tell when something is going to be beneficial. Hmm. This you can't. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we go for this. I think we drop it here. I'm not completely sure of what the best way is to use the lantern yet. Other than... Hello. Oh, if I had more cash, that's good. Also would have given me four defense from the crucible, but uh, that's fine. There's still a very slight chance of getting it. Um, yeah, you, you can always tell if something is going to be good for you in Isaac. Um, or at least you can once you've learned to recognise the uh, graphic for... Um, yeah, might as well use it or lose it. Uh, the graphic for... Um, what's it called? Um, Cursed Eye. Because I used to confuse that with Mom's Pearl quite a lot, despite the fact that uh, one is a... Uh, two, three. One is an item, one is a trinket. Um, yeah. Yeah, once you've got the hang of that, then you always know when something is, you know, going to be good. You get the option of picking things up, rather than having to always, yeah, always having to take what you find in the chest in this is uh, what makes things difficult. Um, right, that can't be, but this is touching one, so that, and then a lean on. One, two, three. Okay, that's um, then... Hmm... I see. So that's an eye. I mean, the, mu the music on this one is quite beautiful, but it's uh, such a melancholy stage. <laughs> I mean, if you ever, um... If you, if you, you, you look on the wiki, um, every stage has its own sort of set of monsters. And uh, I'm doing a bit of uh, research there. Um, I, I realised that the uh, the monsters on this level are all uh, themed around the stages of grief. So there's like you know bargaining, acceptance, anger, and if you get the unique sign text, every level has a um, signpost that is unique to it. Um, the signpost text for the tower. Is, is just simply, um, it will be okay. And yeah, there's something just so... I don't know, it's, it's very somber. I think it puts me a little bit in mind of Castlevania as well, and... Uh, oh, I do love me some Castlevania. Oh, activate. 
And what we got? That seems like a time to use it. Right. I mean, I may have been better off using it around here, honestly. Hmm. If this is one. Hmm. So there are two around here, there are two around here, plus one around here. So that must be one to satisfy that gleaned one. So that isn't a mine, but that one is. But then I don't need to do any tricky gleaning because I've already done it with the, uh, the magic lantern. Uh, then that's satisfied. Then that, then that. No, glean, please. Thank you. Can't afford that quest for quests, but then at this point it may not be that useful. I won't get enough turns to really get much uh, value out of it. Right, cryptic is not good, but fine. There are worse things. Reroll the mods is a gamble. Um, tarot card is also a gamble. But hey, better buy something to uh, get the use out of the... Uh... Oof. Yep, we've won. So what you do, take a Roborus, bash. Now the year level has six monsters, meaning that I'm going to gain a lot of loot. A Roborus is fantastic. So we take the loot we want, which is going to be... Take Flash. Allow us to take Artifact. Um, mm, 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 mm. Good. Then, a tarot card. No, I'm not going to sell that. It's useful here. Mana. Um, it's potentially good. I f no, I can't do anything with it. Fine. Uh, buying a lantern. Sure, don't care really. Um, blah, blah, blah. Then we open all the chests to see if we can find any, any blueprints. Because in a situation like this, you absolutely want... <laughs> you really want to... Increase your chances of just finding artifacts and blueprints. Just get tooled up. Then... Dive on down. Because there still won't be that many monsters. So, pop this. So, if I get really lucky, there may be another statue. But there isn't. So, click the flash. Salt the wound. Um... Ride on my bicycle. Yep, blueprints, that's what you want. Then, check the guys to see if they're selling anything I actually want. Very unlikely, though. Legendary. Uh, nope. I don't have fiber diet as my. Um, Quest, so there's no real point in feeding the uh, larger twos. So then if I drop the tarot card and re-roll the level to gain some more loot. So flash, 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 flash. And take the chests. <laughs> uh, wrong time to get it, but very good. Oh, I ate my armor. That's a really strange one, because I'll automatically equip it because equip it, it consumes it, but I did just eat some armor. Um, a whole stack of cash. I'm not really sure what it is that, deter that determines what uh, money is in a, a chest. And I think that is all I actually want. So then, solve the level. Um, yes. Don't get much XP for it because there weren't many monsters. But we've learned to do some crafting. And we've got a prize package. If I'm lucky, one more divine, but I'll take anything. Hey, good times. Right. Cheers.